What's up guys, welcome back. I am here with my man, Simon Hill from plantproof.com. Thank What's you so up, much for coming, man. Yeah, it's awesome to be here. Just to, uh, very excited to do a workout with you and uh, see what it's all about. So we're here at Gold's Gym in Venice and Simon reached out to me and we wanted to do an arm workout, but we also wanted to talk a little bit about nutrition before we get into the actual exercise. So why don't you go ahead and lead us through whatever you eat pre-workout, what's optimal for pushing you through such an intense work workout like we're about to do. Yeah, cool. So what I usually like to do is, is have a fairly complex carbohydrate rich meal about 90 minutes before I work out. Nothing that is too heavy in fats. Uh, this morning I've had oatmeal, so soaked oats overnight, and then some fast acting fruits, so uh, blueberries, raspberries, uh, blackberries on top. So you're getting some of those faster acting carbohydrates as well. And then post workout is where I'll have you know a, a, a sort of richer meal where higher in protein, okay. um, keeping it all unrefined, natural whole foods. Okay. Yeah, that sounds sounds about similar to what I have. Something. I mean, this morning I like to train uh, with some food in me, with some fuel. I, I typically don't train too fasted, just because I kind of feel weaker when I do that. Other people can train fasted. I like to have a meal. So my pre workout meal is normally always like a smoothie of sorts. So again, a lot of fruit. I'll do banana. I'll do uh, blueberries. Uh, I'll do some a little bit of a protein powder before, just to kind of give me additional protein to fuel me through the workout as well. The the other thing that I do <laughs> is my pre workout is just straight up coffee and water, um, and then we spoke about it before during during workouts, often having some BCAAs. First, we're going to warm up. Always encourage people to stretch, warm up, get some blood flowing before you actually go into your working sets. So we're going to start out with some dumbbell alternating curls, uh, get some good blood flow, go a little lighter before we start working our way up the, the rack. This is going to be fun trying to keep up with him. So the first exercise we're going to go through, my favorite straight bar curls. <sighs> Set, each working set, we're going to increase the weight and decrease the amount of reps that we're doing, but we're not going to decrease the amount of effort that we're putting in. I think the best thing about being down here and training with Neymar is that sometimes you get stuck in a groove and you stick to a lot of exercises that you know and you're comfortable with. So. It's good to have someone take you out of your comfort zone. I'm gonna pull up pretty sore tomorrow. Next workout we're doing, incline dumbbell curls. It eliminates a lot of the momentum than doing standing bicep alternating curls. more of a hammer curl, right? You want to flare your elbows a little bit, keep a straight back, and just curl directly to your chest. You gotta be careful not to row, not to do any kind of scapular retraction like this. Just try to put it right on your bicep. Just ready. <laughs> what we're doing is uh, V bar tricep push downs. So, again, starting off with a prime movement, trying to incorporate as much tricep recruitment as possible uh, early on in the workout while we have the most energy before we start fatiguing, where we can move the most amount of weight. Shoulders back. That way, you eliminate the possibility of pushing down your shoulders. You want to keep them back. Elbows tight. Good. next exercise we're going to do uh, skull crushers with an easy bar. It's another prime mover, so you incorporate a lot of triceps when you do skull crushers if you do them properly. A 
the weight selection process is always very important in regards to intensity in a workout. A lot of times people come to the gym, they do three sets of 10, but they have so much more gas left in the tank because they're not selecting the right weights. So you always want to approach failure after um, the last two or three reps of every set. We're working out how to get Neymar to get more vitamin D, get more vitamin D, but also to learn and, and use a little bit of Australian lingo. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got G'day and we've got Reckon. A few more to come. I reckon oh, I'll get better. Oh, my, my Australian accent's terrible. Okay, so final workout, what we're gonna do are some dips. For a more tricep emphasized dip, you wanna keep your torso instead of incline more straight up and really focus on elbow flexion, not so much chest expansion. So, gonna be more straight up, come down. And that's gonna emphasize on your triceps. Okay, so we just finished our workout at Gold's Gym here in Venice. Nemite, thank you for taking me through that arm workout. That, course, was, that was absolutely brutal. And I can now see exactly where he gets these big pipes or chickpeas from. <laughs> and we're gonna head over to Cafe Gratitude. For those of you that know it, it's a delicious plant-based restaurant in Venice. Usually after working out, I like to have a really wholesome meal, nothing artificial. I love Buddha bowls. My go-to favorites are things like quinoa, then with a nice protein sauce like tempeh or tofu, some hemp seeds on top, and lots and lots of vegetables, particularly green vegetables, which are loaded in antioxidants. When you're working out, you release a lot of free radicals. It's quite stressful on the body, so it's great to get some good veg in. Um, keep it pretty simple, really. Yeah, and, and likewise to Simon, I eat a lot of uh, similar foods to what he just mentioned, just a big bowl uh, with some type of grain base. Normally it's either rice, brown rice or quinoa. Uh, add some beans, some legumes, uh, and some type of protein source. Normally it's either tofu or tempeh or edamame. Or what I'll tend to do if I'm on the run and I don't have time to prepare something like that, I will do a quick protein shake uh, with a piece of fruit. And just, just on the protein, I personally usually take like a pea protein. What type of protein do you take? Yeah, I, I mean, there's, there's a few different plant-based uh, protein sources out there. Normally pea, hemp, rice, uh, those are the most popular. Uh, so normally I do a blend. It's a blend between pea and hemp protein. But I, yeah, and I think the key thing is you don't need to complicate things. It's super simple. Stick to whole foods. Make mm -hmm. sure you've got those legumes, tofu, tempeh in there, grains, and vegetables, and you can't really go too wrong. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more information and learn more about the plant-based nutrition or the plant-based lifestyle, be sure to follow both of us on social media. You can personally find me at Nimai Delgado on Instagram, or you can go to the website www.veganfitness.com, or you can subscribe to our podcast, uh, Generation V, on every platform you can find podcasts. And you can find me on social media at plant underscore proof, online at plantproof.com, or subscribe to the podcast, the Plant Proof Podcast. Hey guys, thanks. Cheers.